Hey guys, Ego Breaker here. Uh, just going to make a quick video on how I build my Mugen MBX6, MBX7, MBX6R shocks. Um, you can see here I have a shock, shock cap. I have a uh, digital caliper and some shock oil. So what I do is um, go ahead and Fill up your shock. I have one of these shock stands, so I'll use that. Go ahead and fill up your shock. Okay. And if you can see, I didn't fill it up quite all the way. Just a little bit of a lip there. So that way when I push the shock, up I don't have oil spilling out of the top okay so here at this point you can kind of set your rebound to whatever you want if you want a half if you want it completely dead or whatever you want to set it at so for this video we'll just kind of go about halfway okay and then I take my shock oil and I finish filling the shock up the rest of the way and I like to make it so that the oil is kind of domed over to the top of the shock and then you take your shock cap put it on and just turn it you see all the shock oil coming out of the shock cap hole. And there you go. That's your shock built. Also one thing you can do when you have the shock cap off if you want to be precise on your rebound you can use one of these digital calipers and you can actually open it up as much as you want we'll set it to thirty millimeters or so What you do is you take your ends and you just push the shock up. And that's 35 millimeters. Fill up your shock. I'm running out of oil here. Fill up your shock. Put your cap back on. Now you have your rebound at 35 millimeters. Hopefully this helps you guys. Thanks for watching.